Hey you guys, PJD here. I hope you're all doing well. I'm coming to you today because today is the release of this package on QVC. I learned earlier this week because I saw a couple of YouTube videos that there were some early releases um, that I wasn't aware of, but for I know today is the official, like, I guess, big launch where everyone can order through QVC this package from Tarte. Now, I did receive this as a, a free gift when I went to a Tarte event about a month ago in New York. So I wanted to show you all the pieces of it, um, not only because today is the release and today is the day you can actually get it, but also... Um, because there are some neat features to this so let me just show you okay this is the packaging and on the back it says and it's so reflective you may not be able to see this but it says maybe it's bold outside and it says to and from at the top some lines where you can uh, if you want to gift this whole box or well let's get the business out of it first and it comes with this little booklet that talks about the products, etc. Um, Treat yourself to gorgeous is kind of their tagline for these new uh, kits and palettes and gift boxes that they have. So that's this book. All right, here's the deal. You get this. Now, it has a gold box underneath and two of these kind of pink and gold boxes at the top. Let me show you this. See, notice how I'm holding it like this? It's magnetic, which I thought was cool because I kind of like uh, magnetic things. Like from some cosmetics companies, they allow their cases and things to be held through magnets. So it's, I like that. So look, at an angle. There we go. So I like that. <laughs> I was impressed. Um, but anyway, you can also split them apart if you wanted to give things um, to people separately or not. Right? So, oops wasn't fully aligned there we go yep so let me just show you what comes with this kit it costs 49 bucks um oh let's start with this because I like it. it has a big mirror up top um these four colors of eyeliner now I gotta tell you because I've been using this since October um I can tell you hands down this is amazing from the kit this is my favorite one um, this is black now it comes in four different colors as you saw in the box for the waterproof liner it's black cashmere black brown cashmere bronze cashmere and black orchid cashmere so here they are let me just show you the black one now in terms of oops in terms of being waterproof uh, let me just do here look at that really really silky that I do love about it um it stays on my waterline all day long literally which I was impressed with because even some good brands um will wear off of my eyes the only one that has true or has ever had really really true staying power without causing me to want to reapply was the um Inglot one but this now to me does the same thing um it stays on all day long now when it comes to removal you can get this off with water because I just wash my face with water and soap and it does come off you may need to do it more than once though but I think you can make this work and get it off with um, water and soap uh, but you may need a little makeup remover to get some of the final pieces off and to make sure it's really off sorry that wasn't in focus so when you first do the swatch it's kind of like a leathery shiny black but then as you see it dries to like a just a dry finish black no shine to it but it's really pretty on the waterline so this is my favorite and it's a retractable so no sharpening necessary but it's this is great. I, I was in fact looking for this cashmere one for Black Friday just to order more and I didn't see them so maybe they're not sold separately yet or maybe I just missed it. Um, I'm going to show you the other colors in here and swatch them for you. I'm swatch the other colors for you. Now I don't see the colors written on the pin itself so I don't know which one this is because they all say cashmere on them right here but I don't know which one this is because I don't see the name on it but 
aside from the black, the rest are like shades of brown. This is the one that is like the bronze one. Now for my complexion, this doesn't show up on my waterline as well. It looks more like a little sparkly something is there, but you don't see it as brilliantly as you see it right here because um, it just kind of blends in with me more so. But the others you do. Um, this is a, a darker color. There we go. It almost looks like a plummy. I think this is the black brown because it looks it's darker than this brown because this is the bronze actually. Um, but it has like a little sparkly effect to it too without you feeling glitter or anything like that on your eyes. And then the last one is this one. Oh, this is another pretty one. This brown right here. I'll just put it here. So those are the colors. I think those are the four really nice. I like it. So that's the eyeliner portion of this kit. There we go. Nice. And it says Tarte at the top as well. And it still says, um, it says High Performance Naturals. So that's piece one. Piece two features, um, no mirror on this one. It features the four Maracuja Oil Infused uh, Lip Glosses. Now the colors for these are actually on, so let me just show you these. Okay. okay, so the colors are actually labeled on the tube itself, so let me go through them. This one is Sparks, like a chalky pink. Preppy, uh, kind of a berry color. This is kind of a coral color. This one is called Curious. Chic. Kind of a mauve kind of color, but a light version, I guess. And this one is Bubbling. Now I have to tell you, Bubbly is my favorite, uh, hands down. And I should also note that it has similar packaging to the box, so you have that same kind of uh, effect going on here. Now. I've been using this for a bit, so you see I've been a bit worn there. Um, Bubbly is the one I use the most. I can tell you that I think these glosses are best used as overlays on similar colors of, uh, let's say, lipsticks. So if you use this as an overlay, it'll give you a nice pop and shine, I think will enhance the color that you have underneath it best. But if you just put it on on its own, fine, of course you can do that, but I think to really, really get color payoff um you would have to put a bit more because let me just show you when i swatch them so if i just swatch it on my hand like that it's fine right but you don't just put it on your lips you kind of smooth it out right and see how the color it goes to more of a gloss you see a slight hint of the color still there but for the most part it goes to a glossy color but i think it just works best when you combine it with a similar color so when i do a uh, nude lip that's this kind of nude, this shade of nude, it um, just amplifies what's underneath a bit more and it's glossy. I can tell you this particular gloss is heavy. Um, heavy meaning it's not one of those, if you've ever used one of those chapsticks or those uh, lip products that goes on and it's like um, oil almost because it's so slick. This doesn't have that same level of slickness because it's heavy. -er. You feel that something is on your lips for sure but that doesn't mean that it's necessarily sticky it's stickier than those oily type of um, very fluid let me see if I can show you here so it's heavier than some of those fluid types of lip glosses but it's not um, on a scale of 1 to 10 10 being the stickiest possible this is probably a 4 4 or a 5 so it's not really sticky but it's heavy Okay, certainly, so this was bubbly, that's the swatch of that. Let me show you the other ones, but it is heavy. Slight tackiness, but not, it's nothing too crazy. Um, this one right here is called Preppy. And again, it has this um, pump piece, as I'm sure you know, you pump it out, it comes out, and this is Preppy. And again, when you swatch it, you can see it there, right? It's kind of berry color, but once you rub it, well, that one you see a bit better, right? Because this one probably just matches my complexion more once it's rubbed in, right? So there you see kind of the berry color of preppy, and that one 
does show on my um, lips a bit too. And I'm going to save that other one for last. This is Chic. I could pump some of these um, earlier so I wouldn't have to wait. Okay, so here is this one. I pumped too much, but pumping too much allows you to really see the color of this one, chic. Let me do a rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Now see, because I put on more, look at that, see how you can see it? But for me, my preference is to not put on that much. So, do as you like. This one is curious, like the coral color. See how that one is more of a, some of these are more opaque than others. This one is more of a shiny one. I can see the coral in there, but it's also just not as opaque as this color that we just put on. And last but not least, the one that made me very scared when I looked at it and pulled it out of the box because this is kind of chalky pink which um, I don't wear this color so I really felt that this was going to be an issue but let me show you um, how it swatches so see it's not even as opaque as this one right here let me get a bit more on it um, so it really does when you rub it in it can go to like that kind of clear shine as well let me show you like that so you don't really see it. So it didn't have to make me as nervous as it did. You don't really see that color. Okay, so here they are. So they pretty much all go to like glosses. Okay. So here we go. And the other thing about this one, though, if you put too much on of this last one, this pink one, um, I think it can make your lips look a little, like I get that pink that chalky pink color if you put on too much because I just want to see what would happen and it does give me on my lips that kind of color so I know for this one to use this up I have to go really light now the best part my favorite part of this kit the eyeshadows look at that it slides open like some sort of special let me move this look at that oh I love it I love it I love it All right, here are the eyeshadows. You may or may not be able to see that it has a little sheet right here, a little overlay. Let me turn it this way so it's facing right side up. Um, to tell you the names of all of the colors, I'll take this little sheet out. Um, there is a video from Tarte with all the swatches, but I wanted to do the swatches for you. There is one color that is, you can probably see from the indentation right there, my favorite. Um, this is named Cabana. I was told that these are colors that are were made specifically for this kit. Let me just tell you right off, there are certain colors I have not played with because I don't think they would look right for me. So this one, this one, this one that one I haven't played with. That one I tried to play with a little bit because I see women on YouTube do this kind of um, light color and highlight color or something in the corner of their eye. So I've been just testing that out kind of on my own with this color. But this one, this one, this uh, and this one I haven't played with. Okay, so here we go. Let me... Alright, so I'm just going to go through the swatches. So this is Macaroon, alright so that's why I don't play with that color, <laughs> it looks a bit too light for me. Um, going across this Privacy Please, another light one. Canary Diamond. Now that you can see is like a little goldish color. Truffle. There's Truffle. Pretty. Now this brown one I've definitely um, used a lot. It's Tiramisu. There's Tiramisu. 
All right, so that's the whole top row on my arm. There we go. Then I'm going to start with this next row down here. And the first one is Bellini. Mm, how do I want to do that? That's Bellini. And the Bellini is the one that I kind of put in the corner of my eye. This one is called 24 Carats. There we go. So it's gold. This one is Safari. Da -da -da. Safari. This is my favorite cabana. It gives me this beachy kind of color. Oh yes, I like cabana. And I use primers when I um, use these, so I've never used them without a primer. That's Cabana, and I love it. Gives me this bronzy kind of look on my eyes. Um, I've always used these with primer, so I don't know how they work without a primer. Uh, but they stay on all day with a primer. I can tell you that. And I've used primers from different companies, not necessarily the Tarte Primer. But that's Cabana, my favorite. And then right next to Cabana is Locket. This is another pretty one. Yeah. That's lock it. So that's the whole second row. This is. There we go. Now the bottom row. This one is called bubble bath. This is the one I don't play with. <laughs> um, we do bubble bath here. Yeah, too, too light. This one right here, Ice Wine. Ice Wine is pretty. Let me bring it closer so you can see. Ice Wine is right here. It has like, it looks like, almost like an iridescent color. Almost like it has like a gold overlay, but some plum underneath. So I think Ice Wine is pretty, but it doesn't really show up so well on me. Let me put it right there. See, it's kind of blends in with me if anything that one shows up really light um this one right here i have used as well sailboat there we go sailboat i'll put it here sailboat oh this one i've used match point like a frosty green look at that that's really a pigmented nice one. Um, stiletto. Put it right here. And there is a swatch video from Tarte where they show you all these colors uh, as well. So that one's um, stiletto. And so this row here represents the third row. Uh, it'd be nice to have them all in view. The very top row of my swatches here represent the third row. Okay, one which you can't see because it doesn't really show up on me. And then we have the final row. This one is called Gossip, like a lavender color. Here we go. Do it here. Maybe it's not so good on top of my hairy arm. How about that? I'll use this hand now. This one is called Gossip. It's kind of light, see, on me. Next to Gossip, and I'm just looking at these names, so it's Skinny Dip. This is one I don't play with either. Skinny Dip. This is Frozen Hot Chocolate. Which it looks more purpley to me, but that's frozen hot chocolate. Right now, the final two. This is velvet. This is velvet. Okay, and this is Tahitian pearl. Final one. As you can see, that's a dark color. Tahitian pearl. Right. 
So, for this palette, Cabana being my favorite, I play with mainly this region. Like these, I've used that. The 24 karat as well. I just don't play with uh, some of the really light ones. But overall, I like these shadows. And again, I said with a primer, that's the only way I've used them. They stay on all day. Cabana, though, is my love. Um, the Maracuja Oil uh, lip glosses that come with this particular palette. The shadows I like. The Maracuja Oil. The shadows I really do like because I play with the majority of them. The Maracuja Oil pens, I use them as overlays to lipstick. So those are cool. But... If I had to say what's my favorite out of this package, it would be the eyeshadows. Select colors are like my favorites, but the eyeshadows, it's really good, soft, kind of powdery, almost consistency. And then um, the eyeliner, especially that black. Love it. So let me do this. See, it's been on my um, arm for a bit. It's set, right? So it's really not smudging. Barely. I mean, you could barely see it. But, um, right? So let me get a little water trusty water bottle all right so i've sprayed some water right see how it's still really not smudging so this is what i mean this is why it's able to stay on my face um all day you see a little wear of it though but once i put my facial soap and like wash my face with soap and water then it starts to um come off um this I would say you may need, uh, I like to use a little scrub to fully get this off because it has a heaviness to it. Um, so I put this on intentionally last night and woke up this morning and even though I didn't get much of the shine, it's almost like it makes your lips impenetrable to, to moisture because I still felt the products on me. Um, you get, I had minimal shine, but the, um, feeling of it was still there so when water touched my lips it was like uh, you got the water bubble on it so these are, are heavy I would use a scrub if to really really get those off or you could use a re makeup remover too though you don't need it I know some people would do that with tissue but I would imagine because I've never done it with the tissue though that some of the fibers could get stuck to your lips so that's how I would remove that here's those shadows those eyeliners you saw it with the water look at that so I'm going to take this off with some makeup remover so um so as Tart has said, go ahead and treat yourself. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.